Hi guys! I had an idea for a cute shop decoration so I thought I would do a little video tutorial along with it as I made it. Uh, it's a really simple, easily customizable project that can actually be even no-sew if you want it to be a no-sew project if you're not into sewing. So uh, I want to show you how I made these little pennants that are going to be for the 4th of July in the shop. Um, but obviously you can use a wide range of fabrics and show you how you can customize this to meet whatever needs that you have. So join me and can't wait to see what you create. So what we have here is a really simple pennant style bunting. Um, I'm just using two colors in this but of course the sky's the limit when it comes to creativity and things like that. I just started really simple. I went online and I found essentially a free printable of a bunting or a banner, whatever you want to Google, whatever shape I want. So I was like, okay, I found it. So printed that off, cut around it, and then I ended up cutting it out of some fabric. So again, I ended up deciding to go a little bit bigger with my bunting. Um, so you can see I just kind of went around the edges. I'm going for kind of a rustic, imperfect look, so it didn't have to be perfect. I just cut around. I even used the selvage because, again, I like that rustic look. So, got that ready. Now, the one tool I'm going to tell you about is I wanted to just put stars in the centers of mine, as you can see. And I have this paper here. It's called Steamaseam 2, light Steamaseam 2, I guess, if you want to get technical. We carry it in the shop. One side has a light yellow grid on it, the other side is plain, and essentially there's a small piece of adhesive in between these two pieces of paper that allows you to fuse two pieces of fabric together, like you see here. So when I use my steam seam, I just take a shape. I found a star I liked, so I just trace the star, and you trace it around on the yellow gridded side of the paper. So. After I trace the shapes I'm wanting to make on the gridded side of the paper, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to peel off the back side of the paper, so not the side you've written on, but the other side. Peel that back, and there's a slightly sticky, tacky piece of um, adhesive under there. Then I'm going to press down that sticky side on a piece of fabric. Here you can see the one I've already worked on. So I press it down so that my stencils are facing towards me. And I'm just going to press with a hot iron, press it all around, make sure it's nice and secure. And then all I have to do is cut out my shape. So, and this gives it a nice, you know, uh, foundation so you don't have to worry about the flimsiness of the fabric. So we're going to cut this shape out. It cuts really easy because it has this paper and the fusible giving it kind of some substantial weight. Again, I've said it several times, but I'm not going to be a perfectionist about this because I want every pennant to be a little different, a little rustic, give it really a, a homemade feel. So, you can do this, whoops. I went in too deep there, but since it has adhesive on the back, it's going to kind of self-heal. So, I have my pennant fabric here. And now I have my star. Now, I'm going to get in here with the star. And I'm going to... I want you to be able to see. I'm peeling off the back piece of paper. So there's still this tacky adhesive that's left on the fabric, but I'm peeling off the backing fabric. So now I have this piece of fabric with a little bit of tackiness on the back. And now I can place it on the fabric. You can kind of place it lightly, kind of figure out if that's where you want it. That looks good, but if I wanted to move it, I, since I haven't pressed it down yet, I can pick it up and move it. Then I'm just going to take this to a hot iron and press it again. So now I've pressed it down, and this is fused now to the fabric. And since we removed both sides of paper, it's not um, crunchy or anything. So you can leave it there. Some people like to make a stitch around if you'd like to sew it on. Um, since this is going to be like a wall hanging decoration, 
it's not going to see a lot of heavy use or washing so I am not going to stitch this down um, so I can just leave it here like it is or I can put a little stitch line just around these corners since I use the selvage on the top I'm not going to worry about stitching across the top because that's already a tighter weave but you can see I make, used Essex linen to make this and um, Essex linen has a looser weave that's kind of what gives it this nice textured appearance so if I make a stitch all around like this then what I can do I'll pull the one out that I've already finished. Well, here it is. Then what I can do is I can purposefully fray it a little bit to give it more, again, of kind of a ragged, worn appearance. And since Essex Linen has this loose sleeve, you're able to do that. But the stitch will kind of prevent it from fraying in too far, if that makes sense. So, again, you can just stop here call it a no sew project and be done but the way I'm gonna put holes in it is again since I've used the selvage selvages have a tighter weave on all fabrics to help protect it kind of in transport and stuff so I'm folding it in half now I'm just gonna fold down a little so I'm just gonna snip a little hole So, I have two tiny holes that are symmetrical in my piece. And I have this twine. It has a little metallic on it. The metallic is questionable because it keeps unraveling. But that's neither here nor there. So I'm just going to pull this through. I got one. Of, told you this has a loose weave, so one of my threads is getting caught in there. So I'm just going to run my, you have twine, you have another ribbon of some kind you like to use, but there you go. Now I'm gonna, probably going to make about six of them and I'm just going to kind of strain across and make a little decoration. But like I said, if you want to do this for birthday parties, instead of make a star, why not do an alphabet so you can do somebody's name, graduation, wedding, just a fun little bunting to hang across your mantle so I have my two done now I just have a few more to make but this is a fun little really sewing machine free if you want it to be project that you can customize and really make your own thanks for tuning in